Hi everyone, I want to start by thanking you for tuning in to listen and watch this video. Um, today we're going to look at a sequence for learning the head to toe stretch. Now, this is a fairly advanced stretch, but the cool thing is that this sequence in this, this protocol can be used for a regular forward fold or really for improving um, any forward bending flexibility. When I first started working on the head to toe stretch, I tried a few different methods, protocols, and exercises, and none of them really seemed to work for me. And this method that I'm going to share with you today, when I started using this method, I managed to get my head to my toe in six days. Slight caveat there, I was only about a fist and a thumb distance from head to toe at the start of that six days. So there's three sections to this. The first is to begin with some nerve flossing. And this is something that I learned from Jarlo Ilano. Um, the idea here is when we're in that forward folded stretched position, there can be a lot of nerve tension along that back line. And so this nerve flossing technique can really help um, improve our range of motion in that position. So by doing these nerve flossing exercise, we can really help increase our range of motion, especially for those of you who feel that kind of nervy stretch when you get into the head to toe position. So I find that very beneficial. The second thing I do in my sequence is some soft tissue work. And soft tissue work on its own is not going to make you flexible. But the nice thing about this work is it can allow you to get a little deeper into your stretches. And then the time that you spend in that deeper position, that's what's going to give you those lasting gains over time. So a little bit of soft tissue work before your stretches can be really beneficial. The third part is the stretches. And today I'm going to just share with you the two big exercises that really help me get that head to toe position. So I'm just going to start by taking a look at my initial pre routine head to toe position. So, I'm using a kettlebell so that the yoga block doesn't move. And so I have a distance of about a fist and a thumb. We are going to begin with our nerve flossing exercises. And for this, you're going to be in a forward fold position. If you can place your hands flat on the floor without bending your legs, then you're going to do it on the floor. If not, you're going to need an elevated surface such as these yoga blocks. So you want to start hands on the blocks, fold forward into a little bit of a stretch, and then you're going to nod your head. After about 10 reps, see if you can go a little bit lower. And so it's very simple. We're just doing five to 10 reps in two to three different positions. Once you've done the head nods, we're going to do the same, but flexing and pointing our toes. So for this one, it's important that we're getting that flex and pointing of your toes and not a rocking back and forward. So again, if you need them, use the blocks from this position and pushing up on my toes. And then here it's important to lift your feet and not rock back. So lifting the feet. Again, five to 10. The next thing I like to do is a little bit of soft tissue work. So there's a number of ways you can do this. You could use a foam roller. You could get a lacrosse ball, really get into the hamstrings and calves. This 
exercise I really like because it gets both the hamstrings and the calves at the same time, uh, saving you some time. So this is one I learned from Kit Lachlan. Basically, you're gonna take the stick and you're gonna place it between your calves and your hamstrings. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock, we're gonna push gently side to side, and that just starts to massage both my hamstrings and my calves. And then I'm gonna slowly, as I'm rocking side to side, I'm gonna slowly roll it down towards my ankles. And I can spend a little more time in some of the areas that feels like I need it, that feels good for me. If I wanna get a little more of my hamstrings, I can just pull up a little bit on one side. And again, I can roll it down. The rolling itself is a really nice feeling. So as you're kind of moving down, just rolling it. And again, with all, as with all soft tissue work, you don't want any pain and you don't want your muscles to be screaming at you. So this should feel just like your muscles are talking to you, okay? And we can go all the way down into our ankles for this one. The closer you get to your ankles, the less contact you're gonna have with your the hamstrings. But you can really get into some of the ankles. Be very gentle on this last part. And so you can just go in about one to two minutes from the knees down to the ankles with the stick, and then we're good for our soft tissue work. The first of our two stretches is a calf stretch. So I have this set up here, um, and I have this weight plate to make sure these blocks, these handstand blocks don't fall over. Typically, I would recommend you doing it on something a little more sturdy, such as a, a step um, or something that you know is not gonna, not gonna topple over. The other thing is I like to wear shoes when I'm doing it just to really protect my feet. So the idea for this one, I have this chair for stability. I'm just gonna do my left foot first and I'm just gonna let my left heel drop down into that calf stretch. So I'm just letting that drop down. My foot is, the outside edge of my foot is straight forward. So it's not, my foot's not turned out to the side. I'm keeping that foot nice and straight because I want the same orientation that I'm gonna be trying to get with my head to toe stretch. So I'm just letting, getting a little bit of length stretching through that calf. And I've held that for about 30 seconds now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my t foot into the, into the, the handstand blocks. So it's, it's this isometric contraction. I'm pushing down into that blocks and I'm not actually pushing, moving. I'm just pushing down with my toes for about 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna freeze, release that tension. And you see, I can sink a little deeper into that position. And I'll hold for about another 20, 30 seconds here. So we don't need super long holds. We're gonna do multiple rounds of shorter holds for this sequence. Our second stretch is gonna be our head to toe position. And we're gonna use the same protocol that we used for the calf stretch. So we're getting into the position, holding for about 20 to 30 seconds, doing that isometric contraction for about 10 seconds, relaxing, seeing if we can go deeper into position, position and holding for another 20 to 30 seconds. Now there's a few tips that are really gonna enhance this movement for you and I'm gonna explain those as I go through it. So we're setting up with your toe in that flex position. I like to turn the back foot out just to give me, myself a little more space. As I'm setting up to go into position, right, if I just kind of roll down this way, it's very hard for me to get the length that I want. So I really think about lengthening and coming into it from the biggest circle that I can. And this really allows me to get further into the position. So I can hold on to here, but I'm not pulling myself into position. So I'm just getting into a nice stretch to start.
and then the isometric contraction in this position is going to be as if I'm trying to point my toe. So I'm pushing my foot into the yoga block here. So I'm trying to point my toe, pushing into that position. After about 10 seconds, I'm gonna try and release some tension. And again, I'm gonna lengthen from the hip, lengthen and try and pull using these muscles here, pull myself further into that position. I'll get a little deeper into that stretch and I'm gonna hold this for another 20 to 30 seconds. Once I've gone once through that sequence, I'm gonna go back to the calf exercise and repeat it for up to five rhymes. Now, one little tip that I find really useful for me is to focus when you're in the head to toe position, focus on where you're feeling the tension. And if you're feeling a little more tension one day in the calf, um, you can go back and do a little extra soft tissue work in that area or spend a little longer in the calf stretch. So really focus on those areas where you're feeling that you have that tension. About 15 minutes have passed. I've done three more rounds of this exercise. I'm coming on to my fourth round of the head to toe. And I thought I'd film it because I'm feeling pretty confident that we're gonna get a little bit of touchdown here on this final, on this final rep.